Hello! Today we are going to be making a catching game in Scratch as shown on the screen. Interested? Keep watching to find out how to make your very own game. To start, let's just simply delete the cat sprite. Once we've done this, we can add our own sprite and we'll just grab a bowl. This will be what we use to catch our fruit. Now let's choose a second sprite. This can be a watermelon. Obviously, this can be whatever you want. I'm just gonna choose a watermelon. And I'm gonna size it down a bit, maybe to 80. There we go. Okay, now let's drag in a one fly clicked, and we just wanna go to the proper position, and that would be around X, zero, Y, negative 140. Like that. Okay, now that we have that, let's code in some movement. So let's have a forever loop. And if, two, two if statements, one will say if key left pressed, then we're going to change our x by negative 10. And if our key right is pressed, we'll change x by positive 10. Okay, let's run this. And as you can see, it works. Obviously, you can change up the speeds a bit if you want, if you want it to be slower or faster, but I'm just gonna use 10. Okay, now let's code in our watermelon. So let's say we want our watermelon to start at a height of around Y170. So once I clicked, go to X0, Y170. Okay, now let's say forever. Create clone of myself. And we'll have a delay of about, let's have it one seconds for now. We can always change it later. So now let's add a when I start as a clone block. So when we start as a clone, we want to show ourselves. So that reminds me, we should hide ourselves originally. And we want to go to random X position. So we can say go to a position. And instead of, um, Set, or Y would be 170 anyway, but just to make sure, let's just drag in this Y position block, and our X can be a random number. So um, our X values range from about negative to 30, um, let's say to 200, negative 200 to positive 200. So go to pick random negative 200 to positive 200, and then forever, we wanna change our X by negative five. Let's check that, or sorry, not change our X, change our Y by negative five. So we can check that. And yeah, all right, they're looking to be falling at a good rate. And now we need to code in losing the game and um, hitting it with our bowl. So let's create a couple variables here. One will be score and one will be lives. So we can say one flag click set lives to three and set score to zero. Now, inside this forever loop, we're gonna say if touching our bowl sprite, that means we've caught the sprite in our bowl. And that means we want to increase our score by one. So we can say change score by one. And what we also want to do is delete the clone. So we can go ahead and do that. Now we can also have add an if touching edge. And this will delete the clone, but it won't change our score by one. In fact, it'll change our lives by one. So you get three lives each time the fruit hits the ground, your lives decrease by one. So inside this original forever loop, we can just add an if lives is zero. Or, or just to be safe, let's just say if lives is less than one in case we somehow get into the negatives, then we want to end the game. So stop all. Okay, let's test it out now. And it looks like we already have a problem here. And this is because first of all, we're changing our lives by one, not negative one. So let's do that. And remember when we originally created our watermelon is actually touching the top edge. And the, we only want this to check the bottom edge. 
So we can simply fix that and say if y is less than negative 150, let's say. If y position is less than negative 150. Then change lines by negative one and delete the clone. Let's test this now. And yeah, there we go. We have water mounts um, coming in and our score is increasing. Now if I let one go down, our lives decrease by one. And if I let them all go down, that's game. All right, there's one final thing we can add and that's just increasing the speed of our water mounts. Right now they travel at a constant rate of five um, let's, let's say they increase as time goes on. So let's, for all sprites, make a variable called speed. And in the start, let's set speed to negative five, because that is what we change our y by. So change y by speed. So if we run it, it sh should still work as normal, because speed is still negative five. But now, um, whenever we, um, say whenever we create a clone after this one second limit, let's change speed by about negative point two. So this will slowly increase the speed at which things fall. And if you want more drastic changes and just to see how this really works, we can say change it by negative two, for example. And we can really see how much faster it gets here already. Yeah, and that, that becomes really, really hard. Um, so negative point two is fine for now. Um, one thing you can do um, in the future is when you change this speed, you can also change the speed of the bowl to make it a bit more fair on the player. Um, and you can also even add your own sound effects to the game. But this is the base um, catching game in Scratch. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.